Good morning. Today we're supposed to be putting solar panels up on the roof. We weren't supposed to be having any rain today and it decided to start spitting out. So I have Ken and his guys coming over and we're going to be working on putting solar panels up on the roof. I'm hoping this rain stops and the roof dries off so we can get up there. Luckily, we got a lot of things we need to take care of on the ground first and get everything figured out. We have our racking system that we're going to be using. We're working on this solar project with grid down power. There'll be a link in the video description down below. You can go online, you can order the inverters and the batteries that we're using and the solar panels through them. We got a good discount code down there for you guys too. So if you're interested in doing any solar, check it out. That's some better lighting. So what we're also using is we're using Tamrac racking system. I've never used this system before. One of the big reasons I chose the Tamrac racking system is, is we always get people asking us what we used and on a racking system. There's so many parts and pieces. I don't know if you can see all that. But there's a lot of tiny little parts and pieces you need to order. And Tamrac, I don't know for sure, but Tamrac is the only one that I found that sells everything as a kit. So when you order it, you can order your lengths of your rails and then it's different for your snow loads and stuff. So you can pick, there's two different options. And then it comes with everything you need to build that system. And it has all your tie downs, your clamps, your end brackets, everything. It's got your legs. The only thing it's, it didn't come with, let me go get those. All right, I lied. There's two things that the Tamrac system didn't come with. First of all, put all this stuff over here. It didn't come with the feet you need to attach it to your roof. These feet are all different depending on what kind of roof you're attaching it to. This fits the profile of our metal roof. These are the feet that go to the rail. This will be on our metal roof and that'll attach to the Tamrac system. And then we have nuts in here and we tighten the nuts down. And then we also had to order the proper screws for screwing our bracket down. So these are a quarter inch bolt. It'll go from metal, screw through metal into wood. It's got a rubber washer in it and it's got a 3 8 head. And then these have a butyl tape on them to seal them. And then we're also gonna do some silicone. So we got the Tamrac racking that comes with all the components. Then we have SR5 feet. That's what these are, the company that makes them. And then, or maybe it's just S5. And then also, yeah, I think it's just S5. I'll link this down below. And then also these bolts are from the company that makes the feet. All right, so we started without you. We snapped a chalk line and we've been going a foot in from the end, screwing our feet in. And so far, I think it's going good. All right, so for a day, it wasn't supposed to rain. It keeps raining on and off. We got our first set of racking done. We're still gonna do a four foot strip on this end, but we're gonna wait. We still need to run five more sections of racking up. We're renting a man lift for the day so we can get up on the roof to continue working on this. So when we get that, then we'll be able to get up on the roof. We'll have that as our support so we can get all of this done. It's going easy, the racking, or it's going well, I should say, other than the rain. So we're hoping we can get the rest of the racking up and have it go well. Just the rain is not helping and it wasn't supposed to be raining today, but it is. So we're gonna work around it.
What's that do? Oh, whoa, whoa! Did you look at that. <laughs> We're on rabbit, not turtle. Intentional. Oh. Yes. We will at some point. Now you get to add something new to your resume. You get to add something new to your resume now. So we got most of the rails set and we got our first two panels up. We got to put up another extension of rails over on this side. We want to measure to find out the exact the width we need to cut those at because those are got to be a certain width to fit as many panels as we need. So we figure once we get closer over to this way, then we'll put up those rails. Those will be easy. So, so far it's going really good. We got a good system in place for the rails, the panels. Those first two went well. We'll have to set one more on that end, and then after that's done, we kind of have all of our patterns, so it'll be a lot easier to get them going. So I'm happy with the way it's turning out. It looks sharp, and we're not able to go completely center on the rails. We're putting our rails where we have our purlins, our 2x6 purlins, because we want to be able to screw into something hefty. So that just means that we're not centered on the panels exactly, which you have a ratio of where you need to be. So I'm not worried about that part, but it's coming out good. I'm excited to have these all done and see what the roof looks like. All right, we've got the trailer all hooked up to the truck. The pigs are in the trailer. That went smoothly. I forgot to take the camera out and basically I got some more eggs, put some eggs in the trailer because the pigs love eggs. They walked in, believe it or not, and I shut the door. So I'm glad we brought the trailer down here early and got the pigs used to it because I made it nice and easy. You can hear them, I'm sure. So we got about an hour before we leave. I just want to get the trailer up on the road and then we're going to eat dinner and then head off to the harvest house. And in a couple of weeks, we'll have some delicious bacon. morning of day two the goal is to get the rest of the panels up on the roof today and it's nice because we have some sun so we're making our pv run wires whoops
So we're going to go ahead and mark our wire runs that we made because we're making them different lengths depending on where they're going up on the roof. So I'm going to write on them which ones they're for. All right, so we've made up some of our runs pre-made and then so now we can go up and set up two of the solar panel runs and then we can figure out our wire length, see how we did and then we'll finish making the rest of our wire runs after. Wow, we're like going almost all the way up. Mine as well. <sighs> A little wet. All right, so I was able to get my main wire in our track and we'll run this in the channel. So I'm gonna make my home run run, plug it in and then run it down that way. Let's bounce these. Ah, I need a pigtail first before you bounce. <laughs> Just set that here for now. Okay. Coming down and check out how everything's going. It sounds like we have like maybe a little puppy friend over here. So go check that out too. That'll be fun. We went through the first bundle of panels. We opened up the second bundle and I guess there's a broken panel. So that is not good. Yeah, let me smash the corner. While we're down here, we'll make two more home runs for our number three series of solar panels. All right, we'll cut one, and then you can just drop it and we'll do it again. Ready? Let's do it one more time. Take our little metal end, put it in, slide it in. I kind of crimped that over by hand easily first. Bam. Do my other one while I'm right here. other ends and put these ones on that side. So now we got to put different ends on. snap. Awesome. So now I want to label these. So 
So that way when we're going to plug everything together, we make sure we have the same ones going too. So like it'll be like three, I'm going to write a three and a three and a three. So that way when we have the wires running down and I'm putting the system all together, I know that this one and this one both from, come from string number three and I'm not mixing them up. Two clamps while you're right there. Ted, you don't know Bobby. Huh? Bounce you. Thank you. Well, that's more than halfway with the panels. That's 16, that's two strings. So we have 14 more for the last two strings. So it's looking good. Perfect day to be doing it. Oh, my cute little friend. Aw. Huh. It's Kai. It's Ken's puppy. Oh, you're so cute. So little and cute. Too bad Tanner's not more friendly. He would like to visit you, but he doesn't like other puppies, only Pluto. Ready? Go get it. No? Oh, the roof solar is coming along good. Glad I'm not up there. I got some chores to do. I'll go back over and check on them, see the progress. I'm gonna clean out this trailer. We had the pigs in it to bring them to the butcher shop. And I don't think it's too bad. I was a little bit leery about what it was gonna look like when I opened it up, but I don't think it's too bad. A couple of bucket loads of stuff and I'm gonna use the hose in there. I'm not going to put the mat back in that Al took out because that's way too heavy, but at least I'll have most of the majority done for him so he doesn't have to do it. And then that will be marked off our list, which will be exciting.
just finishing up the third string of panels. It's starting to rain, unfortunately, but. And yet the sun's shining. All right, the sun's out, but we're gonna be able to finish up our rails. We gotta cut six of them at 48 and three quarters of an inch. So I'm gonna get my wires done up here. Then we can get off the roof and hopefully it stops. Then we can finish up. We have seven more panels to do once we get these rails made and screwed into place. Got to cut those rails back and they're aluminum. So cutting them with a cutoff wheel isn't going to be fun. Cutting them with a sawzall would work, but wouldn't be fun. So I get to use another one of the tools I have. The bandsaw. That should work pretty slick. Well, that's a little bit better. The mat really needs to come out. It's heavy. If you have never lifted up one of those rubber mats, the heavy ones, it is so heavy. The light ones I feel are heavy. These ones, I had a hard time. It was turned around. I did get it flipped around so I can get some out. But that really needs to come out. But it's hosed out. I shelled it out, hosed it out, let it sit here and dry. Then we can come and clean it um, really good at another time. Beads of water running off. Four more panels to go. The rain stopped so we can dry the roof off. And then we got ground wire to run and then clean up our wiring up here, get it down below. And then I can do some conduit after. And then I'm gonna run 10 more panels down below. Sun's back out, rain has stopped. Looks pretty cloudy over there. I hope that stays that way. We got two more panels left and run our ground wire and then clean up the rest of our wires and be able to get down off this roof shortly. For our end clamp, it's like a U, it goes in, folds over the top, you tighten it up, and it locks it in place. And then we got our ground clamps going in like that. Running our ground wire down and then our wire zip tied to it. And we'll do that all the way down. One more panel to do. And then we're done up here. Now that I got some baking done, a little bit of housekeeping done, I'm going to come down here and see the progress. It's looking good. It's looking almost done on the roof. It will look so good once the 2 by 4s get out of there. It looks nice and sharp. It looks like it's supposed to be there. Yep. 
Thank you. You're welcome. It was fun. It was. Most of it. <laughs> <laughs> We got done perfect timing because it rained a little bit while we were up there, but it is coming down good now. So we have all of the 30 panels done up on the roof. The plan is for 10 more. I'm going to do those later down here. I'll show you how it's going to go. So that's about 11,500 kilowatts of power up there. And we still have more down below. I got to finish up the wiring, but it's all ran down. I'll show you how I'm gonna do that after, but now we got it all so it's workable. It is good to have that done. Ken and his guys were great help. So the man lift made a huge difference. I like those solar panels. We got one broken, unfortunately, so I'm gonna need one more replaced for this array right here, we'll call that. And we were shorted some feet, so I gotta wait to get the feet before I can do that array. So there's a few things, but that feels good to have that part done, and I'm glad we got it done before this rain came. Double rainbow.